Hello everyone, my name is Roger Stromkowski and I'm a solutions engineer here at SnapLogic. In this video we're going to take a quick look at working with dates inside of a mapper snap. And if we go ahead and transfer over to our pipeline, it's just a very simple pipeline here today. And what we're going to be taking a look at is, uh, let me clear that out of there. We're going to be taking a look at reading some Salesforce data. In this case we're reading some contact information. Now part of that contact information is there's going to be a created date uh, for when the contact information was created right here. So we just want to call this out and take a look at the format that it's in. And you'll see that other uh, dates related to this are in a similar fashion. So if you're trying to clean this up, maybe make it human readable or put it in a different format for a database, uh, you're going to probably want a mapper here. And if I just go ahead and you, you can see on the left that I've only chosen a certain number of fields to pull in. So I'm going to close this drawer just to make things a little easier. And I'll close the target schema since I don't have anything downstream of the mapper. So there's a couple things here that we're doing. Uh, one, you can see we're pulling in first name. We are cleaning up the output of the JSON a little bit. I'll show you what that looks like downstream when we validate. Uh, but really what we're doing here is this, this working with this date. So let's talk about what we're doing in the various steps, okay? The first thing that we need to do is we need to parse this date. And the reason that we need to do this is that JSON itself does not have a date type, right? So we're just talking about strings, integers, and nulls usually for JSON. So we need to get it into a date type, otherwise it's a string. Once it's in a date type, we can use a SnapLogic's expression language and we can use to local date time string. Now this is where we can do some pretty cool stuff. Inside of the parentheses, for the function, we can open up some curly brackets and we can include the time zone. In this case, I'll do US Eastern. And then we can specify the format we want it in. So if you remember the longer format that we had, now we can see that it's going to be coming through quite a bit cleaner. And if you wanted to change anything around that, you know, maybe make it uh, something like just the last two or, you know, something along those lines, maybe you want to include seconds, right? Uh, if possible. You have this ability to work with dates quite flexibly uh, within SnapLogic. And then if we come down a little bit on the right hand side until we can find the date section, there's some other things we could do around getting days, adding days, subtracting days, uh, things like that. So we can work with it quite well. All right, so let me save this and close this. And then if we don't have preview data, I'll go ahead and preview this for you real quick so we can take a look at the output of the mapper snap. Uh, specifically, what we're going to be taking a look at is we're going to see we've got our, our cleaned up a little bit more uh, user friendly. You know, if you wanted to output this to something like a CSV or an email in a table format, you can clean up these things instead of having, uh, you know, a camel case. And then you can see the dates are a lot cleaner. All right, so that's it for this video. I appreciate you taking the time to watch it, and I hope you have a wonderful day.